This project is all about getting more for less, improving services through better management of the public sector estate. Communities and local government has been working with 11 capital and asset pathfinder areas to build on good practice in using our public buildings and land in a way that helps everyone in the community. We worked with recognised experts from the public and private sectors to identify the potential that better management and joint working can bring. The work has focused on identifying and responding to customer needs, as well as boosting economic growth and job creation. And the partnership working has involved organisations from across the public sector. Working together provides new and exciting opportunities to deliver to communities, as well as presenting ways to save millions of pounds. And the mapping work can be a real driver for innovative solutions to managing assets better to improve services and save money. You're now going to hear from a number of partners who have been working with on the CAP project over the last year and a half. Uh, assets, uh, physical assets in particular, are probably the best resource that local public bodies have got to deliver their ambitions. And they're really, really important for their growth agenda and for the work that they're doing to encourage economic development in the places where they, they exist. The basis of the CAP approach is to look at the assets owned by the public sector in one particular geography map them out and then look at the opportunities for sharing those assets, making them more efficient use and possibly even rationalising and selling some of them off. Local authorities for the first time can start to share assets, they can reduce their own overhead costs, they get out of assets with high liabilities, particularly maintenance, and they begin to give opportunities to share things like IT, common services, and that's been one of the great efficiencies that we found from existing projects. By using a map to, to share information about their respective assets, it allows them individual service managers to see their service buildings within the context of the wider public service offering within a community. The reason that, um, that the, uh, the demonstrator map is being published is because it's to illustrate those sorts of principles to the wider public sector in the hope that it would actually encourage them to, to follow the path of the, the, the pathfinders in mapping their own assets. The next steps of the project really are that um, having proved a concept and worked with a small number of authorities, uh, I think we cannot ignore the fact that the savings produced are so significant and so I've talked with uh, the local government group, they're very keen to roll this out to a wider part of the sector over the next year and indeed that process has already started. We've had a number of interested connections uh, and have already half a dozen authorities from big counties to pretty large unitaries come forward and say they want to, they want to be involved in a, uh, in a similar programme. 